November saw the end of the fall season with volleyball advancing to the conference finals and both men's and women's soccer making it to the semis. Meanwhile, winter sports are off and running with men's basketball off to its best start since 2017-18. Women's basketball trails only U Albany in points per game early on in the season, while wrestling has had a strong showing so far, most notably from Carter Bear, who finished first at the Matt Town Open, and Corey Day, who we'll see in a bit as we kick off our plays of the month. Starting off at number 10, women's hoops taking on Bloomsburg off the miss three. Jaden Welts in perfect position for the offensive rebound and pulls the old okie doke with a pair of defenders for the lay -in. At number nine, men's basketball on the road against Sacred Heart and Armand Harid, two points away from 1,000, but not anymore. Gets the layup to go and hits the career milestone. Number eight, volleyball taking on UMBC at home and Svetlina Ilieva doing what Svetlina Ilieva does. Soaring into the air for the kill from the back row. Later, from right at the net, finding perfect placement in the back corner. 16 kills on the day for Ilieva and not to go unmentioned, a second consecutive America East Player of the Year award. Number seven, freshman making an impact on the hardwood. Bella Pucci from the wing, the crossover past one defender, splits two more, and through the contact of a fourth for the hoop and the harm, not a bad way to start your career. Coming in at number six, America East semifinals. Women taking on UMass Lowell. Early first half, Lexi Vagoda on the corner. Molly McClellan, the shot from outside the box. Deflected in front right to Sophia Garofalo, who gets full extension on that leg to pop it in for the goal. Can't have much better timing for your first career goal. Number five, as in five three-pointers in a game. And it happened twice. Chris Walker hitting that mark against Maris, going five for seven from downtown. Four of those in a span of four minutes and totaling 19 points on the day. But how about a week earlier and Kaylee Kristoff, the freshman showing her shooting prowess, hitting five three-pointers against Siena and tallying 15 points in just eight minutes on the floor. Shooter's gonna shoot. Number four, as in the number of pins that Corey Day put up in November. I'll say again, four pins in a month. Day taking down NC State's Chase Horn, LIU's Aiden Begu, Buffalo's Magnus Bibla, and Rutgers' Kyle Epperly. Four pins in a month in which he went five and one. Now that's a dominant November. At three, for the second straight year, men's soccer taking on UMBC in the quarterfinals, and for the second straight year, beating UMBC in the quarterfinals. But not without needing a lot of effort and a little bit of luck. The final 20 seconds, a little more frantic than my blood pressure can take. Dylan McDermott making a big save to force a corner kick, and then Will Nowicker and McDermott, both with huge saves as time expires, to clinch the victory for Binghamton. Not every play has to be pretty to be effective, like our runner-up, Taimu Shinnery against Loyola. Driving from the wing, falling down through the contact, and somehow gets enough on the shot to kiss it high off the glass and through the bottom of the net. But number one this month, back to men's soccer, late second half, scoreless. Shot, goal! Not him again! It's Marcus Tarukas that scores for the Bearcats! For the second straight year, Tarukas scores the game winner in the playoffs, eliminating UMBC last year in overtime, this year in regulation. In fact, in four games against the Retrievers, Tarukas has four goals, including those two game winners and a game-tying goal. If only he could play against them every night. There's only one month to go until we turn the calendars to 2024 and the start of America East play in basketball. So come on back in a few weeks. Until then, happy holidays.